Hello, my beautiful souls. I am the Awakened Dreamer, and I'm here to give you a daily tarot reading for today, August the 25th. And I do want to take this moment to, of course, thank all of my new and returning subscribers. Welcome, everybody. If you haven't yet, please do hit that subscribe button for me. And I more than appreciate all of your likes, shares, and comments. So head on down below and do just that. And while you're down there, you will see all the information you need to book a personal reading with myself or a yes or no question with the pendulum. So just shoot me an email and I will get those started for you, okay? And I meditated on the collective's energy overall before beginning the reading. And the message that came through, my friend, was laying a foundation. Love it. I feel like a lot of people out there are laying a foundation for their future, you know? In a multitude of ways. But let's start off by pulling a message or two from the Spirit of the Animals Oracle deck. What do we have for the collective for today to start off this reading? Thank you, Spirit. Do we have another one? I think we do. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh. Okay. First off, we have Polar Bear, my friend. Mystic. Know that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you face adversity. Take time to rest, dream, and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. Uh, you carry the shaman within. Oh, I love that. For those of you drawn to this video today who do have um, some spiritual or psychic abilities, it's time for you to start uh, trusting in them and strengthening them. Yeah, and I mean, it reminds us that whatever we've been through recently, as far as, you know, challenges and whatnot, the ups and downs of life, just reminds us that it makes us stronger. And more knowledgeable, if you think about it. But I do feel like a lot of you that were drawn to this video are somewhat connected to spirit and your guides. Even if you don't fully realize it just yet, okay? And then we have Black Jaguar, Old Soul. I can relate to this. Walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power from beyond the world. Ooh. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. Yeah, I mean, it reminds us to walk with our head, head held high. Excuse me, it's a tongue twister. And, you know, tackling these challenges and um, overcoming them with, you know, a sense of grace. And while doing so, of course, like the overall message says, you know, laying an important foundation for ourselves to take with us into our bright future. And I mean, it also is reminding us by saying, focus on what you really want, you know, manifesting, my friend, staying focused on what you truly want out of life instead of what has gone wrong or what you don't want, you know? Because what you think about is what you create. Keep that in mind. But overall, I do feel like it's gonna be a somewhat um, calm but productive day. Just a feeling. As we, of course, lay a foundation for ourselves, however that pertains to you. I do want to do some shuffling and pull four tarot cards per usual for the daily read. Okay. 
They want me to show this to you real quick, the split deck. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, my friend. As you slowly head towards your financial success, I feel like that has a lot to do with this foundation that we are setting. The wheel will start turning for you once again, okay? Things will start to work out in your favor if it feels like it hasn't in the recent past. Alrighty, Spirit, what do we have to continue this daily read for our collective? Don't want to reverse them. Okay. What else do we have? Keep it coming. Very interesting. Oh, good energies. Okay, so we have the King of Wands to start off the four card spread. They're saying, be who you've always been meant to be. Okay. I couldn't get that out very well, but reigniting that passion within my friend. All right. As we do set this foundation for ourselves in order to build our finances from the ground up to build a business from the ground up, however it pertains to you, building your whole new life from the ground up for a lot of you. I can totally relate. Standing in your power, once again, I feel like this was a message that came through a couple days ago, two days ago, if I remember correctly, in the daily read, about standing your ground, standing your power, you know, defending who you are and who you're becoming and what life you're trying to create for yourself. And while doing so, making sure you're focusing on what you want, not what you don't want, okay? And then we have the Seven of Cups. They're saying use your the wisdom that you've developed over the years throughout these challenges, this adversity, in order to make the right choice when you do have a lot of options that pop up. I feel like maybe midway through the day you'll have to make some choices. Or maybe one choice. And I do feel like it will be in relation to your future and setting this foundation, you know. It could affect it in some way, shape, or form. Even if it doesn't seem like it at first. Okay. And then we have the Knight of Swords. It's time to go after what you want in life, my friend. It's time for you to achieve everything you've always dreamed of, you know? It's time to set your, your eyes and your mind on your ultimate goal in life and therefore manifest it, you know, co-create with spirit. Time to, again to enhance those spiritual abilities, those psychic abilities and while doing so, manifesting again, okay? Charging after what you want out of life without a care in the world, all right? Realizing that nobody else is going to do it for you and no one else is going to manifest it for you, all right? It's going to be up to you and only you, really. I mean, yes, okay, you're co-creating with spirit to a certain extent, but you don't rely on them to do it, you know? They're not in your physical reality. So make, make sure that as the day goes along and you are setting these foundations, make sure you're still charging um, towards what you deserve, what you want out of life, which is going to be different for all of you. Don't let anybody stop you, okay? Somebody comes in throughout the day to try and convince you one thing or the other or tries to change your mind, do what you got to do to block that out, okay? Or at the very least, stand up for yourself. And then to finish off the four cards, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Your finances are in the making, I feel. 
You're setting yourself up for true success that's just going to snowball at one point, you know? And the fact that we had started with the split deck with the Knight of Pentacles, it means things may feel like they're going a bit slow at this point. But remember, you're setting a foundation, okay? Allowing that to grow at its own destined pace. Remember that too. They're saying you can't rush perfection. I love that. But again, the Queen of Pentacles does come um, into play to also remind us to, again, manifest and use our intuition along the way. You know, as we do continue down this journey that we're meant to pursue, using our intuition and trusting our gut feeling, especially when these options pop up throughout the day or the upcoming days, that's going to be key for you, okay? Sitting and standing in your power and allowing for the life that you deserve to slowly unravel, okay? Because that's what spirit, what your guides want for you, your angels, if you will, the universe as a whole. They're working behind the scenes in order to pave this beautiful new path for you. And so they're asking you uh, to... To stand in your power at the very least and take those first steps, all right? And I feel like in that today, at least, by taking those first steps, it means continuing to lay that foundation for yourself. Again, however that pertains to you. All right? So make sure whatever you do, you're keeping your head held high today as you charge after your dreams, my friend, okay? But on that note, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to my wonderful channel and head on down below and do like this video and leave me a comment. I want to hear all about your personal uh, day and situation. And uh, while you're down there, please do shoot me an email about booking a personal reading or yes to no pendulum question. And I hope you have the most amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.